Imagine this. You feel fine. Your family doctor looks at your blood work and refers you to a specialist. You're diagnosed with an unpronounceable cancer, and you learn that it's both rare and incurable. You will need support, information, and hope that research will come to your rescue. This is when you need a patient group like the WMFC. Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia, or WM, is a subtype of non-Hodgkin lymphoma. It's a rare and incurable, but slow-growing blood cancer. The WMFC is the only organization in Canada focused solely on WM patients. It started in 2000 as a small support group based in Oakville. In 2002, it became a registered charity. Since then, the WMFC has expanded to include support groups all across Canada. The WMFC's mission is to support Canadians with WM and their families, educate patients and the medical community, and fund research to discover new treatments and ultimately a cure. The WMFC is a small, entirely volunteer-run charity. Its administration costs are low, and it receives no government funding. It relies largely on donations and community fundraising. WMFC support groups are the perfect place to connect with other people affected by WM. Run by volunteers across Canada, they can be in-person or accessible remotely via Zoom. Patients, family members and caregivers come together and share their experiences and advice. Organizations like the Waldenstrom's Macroglobinemia Foundation of Canada are really important and valuable to patients. It, uh, it serves as an information uh, vehicle for patients. It serves as a way of talking to colleagues and friends who have the similar disease and who've been through it all, getting their perspective, getting their reassurance. The WMFC also has a Facebook group where members ask questions and discuss current treatments, research, clinical trials, and more. Its Lifeline service connects patients to volunteers with experience in specific treatments and side effects. The WMFC website is a top resource for information on WM and Canadian treatment options. Four essential videos are available for patients who've been newly diagnosed, along with information about WM and access to fact sheets, treatment guides, and booklets. For those already on their WM journey, the WMFC website has a variety of newsletters, blog posts, webinars, videos, and articles containing current information for both patients and their families. The organization is constantly engaging with the medical community to support clinical trials and to raise awareness of the latest WM treatments and research. It hosts an education forum each year in different Canadian cities to connect patients and caregivers with world-renowned researchers and clinicians. Research is the third critical component of the WMFC's mission. Since its inception, the WMFC has given extensive support to WM research, with over $1.3 million in grants to research projects. The WMFC's research investments follow the IWMF LLS Strategic Research Roadmap, which was established by a scientific review committee made up of top WM researchers internationally. The WMFC is proud to partner with the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society of Canada and the International Waldenstrom's Macroglobulinemia Foundation. The WMFC recently funded research initiatives through Harvard's Dana-Farber Cancer Institute and the Bing Center for Waldenstrom's Macroglobulinemia, as well as Toronto's University Health Network and Sunnybrook Health Sciences Center. I'm currently working on a a new uh, prospective uh, research clinical trial um, that combines what we think are the two best treatments for Waldenstrom's macroglobinemia in hopes of coming up with a treatment that works even better than what we have now. It's really important to have foundations like the Waldenstrom Foundation where uh, people are taking it on themselves to say, look, Waldenstrom's is an important disease. We want to do something to accelerate the research in this disease. The government's not doing that but we can do it. The Waldenstrom's Foundation allows that to happen, facilitates that to happen, and provides funds for research. Continued innovation is critical. As a result of research, the life expectancy and quality of life of WM patients have improved dramatically over the last 20 years. 
The WMFC needs your help to create a world without WM. Every dollar that you contribute brings the organization one step closer to finding a cure for this rare disease.